tried to swallow. The video he posted gained him so many likes and new f A TikToker chugged eight scoops of pre-workout supplement. This is what happened to his brain. J.A. is a 25-year-old man presenting to the emergency room unconscious. His mother Karen tells the admitting nurse that she found her son unresponsive on the floor. You see, J.A. was a fitness TikToker who was just trying to make it. He recently found out about dry scooping pre-workout supplement. This was a hot new trend where people would dump powder directly Jesus. into their mouth in an effort to bypass the water and allow the body to digest it as soon as possible so that the pre-workout would hit harder. Clearly, this was nonsense intended no, to sensationalize the unnecessary That's not what I do, okay, settle down. But J.A. was determined. He was going to dry scoop pre-workout for a video to post and get 100,000 followers. After putting two scoops of pre-workout directly into his mouth, J.A. felt like he was choking. He felt the powder immediately coat his tongue and everything became dry. In an effort to not breathe in any powder, he closed his eyes tight and tried to swallow. The video he posted gained him so many likes and new followers that he knew he had to push it further to get his follower gains. Oh, he was no. going to do four scoops next and have the biggest workout of his life, all documented in the biggest video that he's made yet. Immediately after putting four scoops of pre-workout supplement in his mouth, J.A. had instant regret. He knew he was going to choke on it, and if he didn't do anything, he would breathe it in. He thought it'd be funny for the video to just chase Wait, it four down more? with four more scoops already mixed in with water as he washed everything down and got ready for his workout. At the gym now, J.A. didn't feel well. The pre-workout he took was loaded with caffeine, creatine, and a Ca focus caffeine? energy blend made of a variety of things. He started sweating before he even started touching the weights. He felt jittery during his sets. He could feel his heart beating in his neck as his eyes started bulging out of his head. He knew he was wired, but it was hard to actually get anything done. And while he was doing one of his sets, this he felt guy an did. instant headache breakthrough. He posted his video online, but didn't follow any of the comments because he couldn't follow any of the comments. At home now, J.A. wasn't exactly sure what was happening as he stumbled around. And as his mom came up to see what the commotion was, she found her son huddled over on the floor as she calls for 911, and he's brought to the emergency room where we are now. Jesus. At examination, no one knew that J.A. had chugged huge amounts of pre-workout supplement. Even if they knew, they'd have no idea what was really in that pre-workout supplement. What they did know was that he was unconscious and unresponsive. He wouldn't open his eyes, and when doctors well, and his mama. mom tried calling out his name, there was no response. J.A.'s heart rate was high, his breathing rate was normal. When the nurse tried to take his blood pressure, the machine just kept cycling and it couldn't get a reading. When they tried to do it manually, the measurement came out 330 over 180. Holy which shit! Three times that of normal and so high that the Damn. blood pressure machine couldn't produce an actual reading. In a previously <laughs> three, healthy 25 year old man, one reason why his blood pressure is so high could be that he took something. But his screen didn't return anything for substances, so it didn't look like he took anything illicit. A blood test finds nothing abnormal either. They looked at his heart rhythm and noticed that along with his high blood pressure, his heart was beating erratically. You should be All like, uh, Josh, shouldn't you be like a, like 115, 75, something like that? Yeah, there could mean that this is a problem with just his heart, but something's wrong. When doctors looked at his pupils, they noticed that one was bigger than the other. And the heart doesn't control the eyes, the brain does. And if the brain controls the heart too, then could the brain be the cause of his problems? 120, I almost had it. Doctors send J.A. to get a scan of his head. The images suggest that parts of his brain have been bleeding. Because the brain's enclosed inside a hard space, the skull. Bleeding into yeah. the brain would mean that the brain's expanding. Jesus. The bleed isn't going to magically stop itself when there's no more space left. It's just going to keep going and going and keep pushing the brain up against the sides of the skull until the blood vessels start to crush themselves as the brain folds on itself. Jesus. permanent damage. Is there a way that doctors can temporarily shrink J.A.'s brain to stop this? Maybe. Yeah, you have to pierce a hole. Body water is a little salty, meaning that it has Ch some sodium. Ch what, if, what if you pierce a small hole? Small and in it, cells have about the same amount too. This is important because wherever sodium is, you will do that, right? Flow towards it. I did do that in this small science experiment. I dissolve salt in this water and place it into a tube. That's not, it's not a bottom tube me. in a pool of water that has no salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard if you get a, a huge ass a, a head hit or whatever, right? and, and your, your eyes go weird or whatnot, and the blood doesn't know where to go, a small, a small hole that can, uh, you know. 
salt dissolved in it and don't you they see do that? that water follows into the tube that water follows sodium if the brain is swelling then a temporary fix could be to infuse saltier water into ja if the body water is saltier than the brain then it would temporarily suck water from the brain to relieve the pressure because it's quickly expanding but this is only a quick fix for now as he's sent in to the intensive care unit Doctors still don't know that J.A. had chugged eight scoops of pre-workout because there isn't anything in that supplement that anyone in a hospital would test for, except his mom pulls up his phone and finds the latest video that he posted. She showed the doctors, and while it gives them some clues as Jesus. to what could have happened, their main priority is to see if there's anything that they can do to relieve the pressure that's been building up in his skull. Looking at the ingredients of the pre-workout supplement, two things immediately stood out. A single caffeine. scoop has 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is around two cups of coffee. The recommended daily maximum for caffeine is 400 caffeine. milligrams. If J.A. swallowed eight scoops of pre-workout in just a few seconds, it means that the caffeine content that he took was equal to chugging 17 cups of coffee and equal to four times the recommended daily limit. Caffeine is a stimulant and increases adrenaline in the blood, so it increases heart rate. It could explain why J.A. felt jittery. It increases blood pressure, which, if high enough, can stress the blood vessels to the point of rupturing the walls of those blood vessels, causing a bleed. But is caffeine alone enough to cause a blood pressure so high that the machine no, can't. can't even read it? No, I can't. I don't it? think. On the ingredients list was another listing named beta phenyl ethylamine. It's featured prominently in the marketing materials. Chat, I'm pretty sure the LD50 for caffeine is extremely, insanely high. Chat, isn't um, isn't the LD50 for caffeine so high that if it comes to coffee, you wouldn't be able to, to drink enough, like physically, to get there? The pre-workout supplement. You may have heard so of it's something like 100. called alpha methyl phenylethylamine, which sometimes goes by amphetamine. Something that's used in the treatment of ADHD that's related to an N methyl alpha phenyl ethylamine. Oh, yeah, got, yeah. M at yeah. In this pre workout supplement, the beta phenyl ethylamine was described to be a focused maintainer to help promote mood alertness and concentration, similar to the function of amphetamine, but something's a little different here. In the brain, beta phenyl ethylamine gets broken down or metabolized, but amphetamine doesn't get broken down in the brain. It stays in, and the body needs to wait to clear it out. This is a problem because in the synapse where nerves connect, chemicals normally send signals. When the signal is done, the synapse needs to clear itself so that signals aren't sent nonstop. This means that those chemicals that send the signals either need to be pumped back in or broken down. This is, this is a little bit of uh, amphetamine is present. Okay, the synapse okay. doesn't get cleared. Th this is a little bit uh, uh, oversimplified, but you know it's fine. Of amphetamine think. is present. The synapse doesn't get cleared. It keeps forcing more chemical out, sending signals nonstop, continuously. Pretty accurate though. Nerve. This is why we. Chat. Ch is, is this guy like a medical doctor type of guy? Is this guy? Is he like a, like a. Amphetamine is, doesn't get he? broken down in the brain, so it stays there until it naturally clears out after a while. But beta phenyl ethylamine, the chemical that was in JA's pre workout, is supposed to get broken down in the brain quickly. But when JA chugged and instantly swallowed eight scoops worth of pre workout, there could have simply Talk been too much of it okay, then he knows his shit, then. brain to break it down quickly enough. This is a problem because that signal from the nerves also gets sent to the heart, telling it to beat harder and faster. Huge amounts of beta phenylethylamine probably can't get broken down quickly enough, so the signals aggressively push into the heart, causing it to beat harder and faster. But it's not just the heart doing this. JA's blood vessels are constricting too, and when they constrict as the heart is beating harder, this dramatically increases the blood pressure even more. The combination of huge amounts of caffeine and beta phenylethylamine, uh, uh, eight scoops of pre workout swallowed all at once with heavy lifting all together could have increased J.A.'s blood pressure so high that it caused his brain to start to stroke in the form of a bleed. The dysfunction of the brain caused dysfunction in the heart, which was found first by the doctors as they were trying to figure out exactly what was going wrong. Jeez, doctors man. were able to prevent J.A.'s brain from pushing up against his skull and oozing out of the cracks. The surgeons removed parts of his skull to relieve the pressure building up in his head. The I knew it. showed that he didn't have any physical abnormalities that would have caused his brain to bleed like this. His past medical history also didn't show that he was susceptible to this because he was a healthy 25. Five head, that was right. Despite the doctors and surgeons at this point really only caring to fix the problems caused by his brain bleed, the reality is, despite evidence strongly suggesting that caffeine and beta phenylethylamine <laughs> are documented to cause hemorrhagic strokes when taken inappropriately, 
There's always a little bit of doubt that it was absolutely those two alone that caused JA's problems. You can't set up an experiment to test on people by giving them huge amounts of these things and waiting until their brains start to bleed because you're intentionally harming people. And you might not be able to fix the problems that you're going to cause to them by doing that. Which brings us to the final problem of JA's case. Well, I'm confused. Supplements sometimes tell you on the label to consult a physician before taking it that you should consult a physician before starting any exercise program. And the reason why you're probably going to be told to not take it is that we don't really know what's in here. Some of the brands might change the ingredients. We don't really know what's in these complexes and these blends and change the mm -hmm. amounts of those ingredients. And they don't have to tell you about it. These complexes and blends might be sourced differently depending on what state or country that you're from. And some of these might be based off of herbal ingredients that interact with your liver and cause problems with actual medicines that you could be taking for an actual medical condition. This is coming this from fine. years in medicine and also spent like 15 years of my life in powerlifting circles. I stepped on the platform to compete. I used to take supplements. And when I was competing, pre-workouts like this were just becoming a thing. Not many of us took it where I was, and we certainly Damn, look didn't at this guy. scoop it. There's no such thing as bypassing water to digest it faster. There is such thing as bypassing the liver, but that would imply that the pre-workout is being absorbed into your blood directly through your cheeks and under your tongue, which for granular powder like this isn't happening. You're voluntarily sure. creating a choking hazard for yourself by doing this. It's a troll. If dry scooping <laughs> is somehow a convenience for you in some way, that's great. But don't lie to yourself thinking that taking it that way is doing something special. If you're really training seriously, you shouldn't need anything extra to help you focus on training because this is a non-essential supplement. JA may not have had the support structure of a team at a gym to gain that insight, but the label of the pre-workout also says don't take more than two scoops in a given day. Don't push it with oh. this kind of stuff. When stabilized after surgery, J Okay. Oh. J.A. was moved into a step-down unit where he appeared to improve, likely thanks to the fact that he was younger, previously healthy, and his stroke may have been caught just in time. He was moved to a rehabilitation facility afterwards, and after several months of care there, he was able to make a recovery. Oh. Thank you so much for watching. He said a recovery, not, not a full recovery. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. I feel like if it was a full recovery, he would have said full recovery. Please cut the ringing, it sounds kind of like a... Ah! Even if it's just for the day Join your stay Outside the sun is shining